In this video, let us talk about sets. In mathematics, a set is a collection of well-defined, distinct objects. The word well-defined refers to a specific property. The word distinct means that the objects on a set must be all different. So let us try to look at these examples. On our example number one, the collection of children in class 7 whose weight exceeds 35 kg represents a set. So, obviously, example number one is a collection. It is also well-defined or it has a specific property, specifically the children in class 7 whose weight exceeds 35 kg. The objects on this set are also distinct or different from each other. From the word children itself, that is many, therefore, it consists of different human beings. And their weight are also distinct or different from each other. Because it said that it exceeds 35 kilogram. So it can be 35.5, 35.2, 36, 37, 38, and so on and so forth as long as it exceeds 35 kilogram. So basically, our example number one is a collection of well-defined distinct objects. On example number two, the collection of all intelligent children in class 7 does not represent a set. Although that is a collection, the thing is, it is not well defined. Why? It is because of the word intelligent. So the word intelligent is vague or unclear. Because what may appear intelligent to one person may not appear the same to another person. And one thing more, we have different types of intelligences. Therefore, there is no specific property on this example. Although that is a collection, but it is not well defined. As a continuation, let us talk about the elements of set. Elements of set can be denoted by a Greek symbol which is epsilon. So this symbol is an epsilon. A set is usually denoted by capital letters. As we can see on this example, we have set A. And A is capitalized. The different objects that form a set are called elements of a set. So we have here set A which consists the objects A, 3, 5, C, and 7. Since these are objects which belongs to set A, therefore we can say that these objects are elements of A. The elements of a set are written in any order and are not repeated elements are denoted by small letters. Since these objects are elements of A, therefore, we can say that A is an element of A. Also, we can say that 3 is an element of A. Same with 5. 5 is also an element of A. C is an element of A, and 7 is an element of A. Also, we can say that X is not an element of A, because the object X does not belong to A. And we can say that 8 is not an element of A. Because 8 does not belong to set A. So that is the elements of set.
Next will be the basic properties of set. So the first property, the change in order of writing the elements does not make any change in the set. In other words, the order in which the elements of set are written is not important. Thus, we can say that the set which consists the elements A, B, and C is also the same with the set with the elements A, C, B, the set B, C, A, the set B, A, C, the set C, A, B, and the set C, B, A. So the change in order of writing the elements does not make any change in the set. The second property, if one or many elements of a set are repeated, the set remains the same. In other words, the elements of a set should be distinct. So, if any element of a set is repeated number of times, we consider it as a single element. For example, we have the set which consists the elements G, O, O, G, L, E. So this set is also the same with set of G, O, L, E. So as you can see, we have omitted all the repeated letters. These two sets are still the same. Next example, we have the set which consists the elements M, I, S, S, I, S, S, I, P, P, I. So this set is also the same with <coughs> the set M, I, S, P. So, if one or many elements of a set are repeated, the set remains the same. Those are the two basic properties of a set. So, the next will be the representation of set. So, sets can be represented in any of the following method or way. So, the first one is the statement form method. In this well-defined description of the elements of the set is given and the same are enclosed in curly brackets. For example, the set of odd numbers less than 7. In statement form, we can state it by, so we have the curly brackets, so we can write the set as it is. So, set of odd numbers less than 7 less than 7 so from the word statement itself we are going to state the set itself so the next method will be the roster form or tabular form in this Elements of the set are listed within the pair of brackets and are separated by commas. So, for example, the set of positive numbers less than 4. So, from the word roster, we are going to list the elements of the given set. So, we have the set of positive numbers less than 4. So, let us list all the elements that are present on this set. So what are the positive numbers less than 4? So we have 3, we also have 2, and we also have 1. Then we have the roster 4. And the last one will be the set builder form. So in this, a rule or the formula or the statement is written within the pair of brackets so that the set is well defined. In the set builder form, all the elements of the set 
must possess a single property to become the member of that set. In this form of representation of set, the element of the set is described by using a symbol X or any other variables. So we can use any variables other than X and is followed by a colon or so this is a colon or it can also be followed by a vertical bar which is this. So, these two denotes such that and then we write the property possessed by the elements of the set and enclose the whole description in braces. In this, the colon or the vertical bar stands for such that and our braces stands for set of all. For example, let us going to represent our set of counting numbers greater than 12 by roster, I sorry, by set builder form. So the set of counting numbers greater than 12. So let P, so let P is a set of counting numbers greater than 12. So the set P in set builder form is written as P is equal to, so we have the bracket X such that X is a counting number, counting number greater than 12. And another way is that P is equal to so x such that x is a counting number greater than 12 then close bracket so these two set builder form can be read as p is the set of elements x such that x is a counting number greater than 12. Same true with the second one. P is the set of elements x such that x is a counting number greater than 12. Because it is nearly impossible for us to list all the counting numbers greater than 12. It's because that is an infinite sequence. And those are the three representations of a set.